Hello everyone, I'm a math and physics tutor and today I want to show you how to find remainder and quotient when divided integer numbers both positive and negative. To solve this problem we should use the quotient remainder theorem. It says that given any integer number a and b there exist unique integer q and r such that a is equal to b multiplied by q plus r, where r is more or equal to zero but less than the absolute value of b. Here a is called a dividend, b is called a divider, q is the quotient and r is the remainder. One more important point is that b must not be equal to zero, because I hope you already know that division by zero is impossible. Ok, for better understanding let's consider the examples. I put all the important information on the top of the slide. And first of all let's find the quotient and the remainder when dividing 27 by 4. The question is how many times does 4 go into 27? But we know that 4 times something doesn't give us 27. So we should reformulate the question, how many times does 4 go into 27 without going over? And the answer would be 6, because 6 times 4 equals 24, and that is the closest result we can get to 27 without going over. So the quotient is 6, and now we should find the remainder. What number we should add to 24 to get our dividend of 27? It's 3, right? So the remainder is 3. And that means that 4 goes 6 times into 27 with the remainder of 3. Let's take a look on a second example problem. What if the dividend is a negative number and the divider is a positive number? Minus 15 is divided by 4. First of all, it's clear that a quotient is going to be a negative, because a negative number divided by a positive is also a negative. But what is a quotient? Remind you that the remainder must be more or equal to zero and less than the absolute value of the divider. So the quotient must be equal to minus 4. Minus 4 times 4 equals to minus 16. And now we should add 1 to get our initial dividend of minus 15. So the remainder is 1. Ok, let's take a look on the third example problem with dividing a positive integer number by a negative one. This is a quite similar situation we've already seen in the previous example problem. Somebody can tell me that the equation should be equal to minus 3. Well, then we should multiply minus 3 by minus 7, that equals to 21, and then we should add minus 2 to get our initial dividend. But this number, minus 2, is not going to be a remainder, because the remainder must be positive. So here in this example, the quotient must be equal to minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 7 equals to 14. Now we should add 5 to this result to get our initial dividend of 19. So the quotient is minus 2 and the remainder is 5 and this condition is satisfied. It. Well, and the final example. What if a dividend and a divider both are the negative integer numbers? As you might have already guessed, the quotient is a positive number in this case, and it should be equal to 3. So 3 times minus 7 is equal to minus 21. And we should add 6 to minus 21 to get our initial dividend of minus 15. So the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 6. Check your understanding of this lesson, solve these problems and write your answers in a comment. We will check them. Thank you for watching and goodbye.